In Hover, each member will have two accounts with us online. The first will be a financial account, a Hover financial account, and the second will be a Hover ride credit account. Each time they use the system, the number of cre ride credits in their account will reduce by one. Each time they provide a ride, the number of ride credits will increase by the number of riders. Each time they use the system, their financial account will be charged by a small hover service fee. Their financial account can also be incremented or decremented by them either depositing funds, by selling ride credits, it can be it can reduce by withdrawing funds and by buying ride credits. The price of a ride credit is set by the market. The people who are riders and the people who are drivers in the system, and some people will at different times be both, will set the price that they are prepared to pay or prepared to sell their ride credits for on a route by route basis. To, to maintain uh, the system of record keeping that allows us to transfer ride credits between participants, we need to have some technology to track participation. The technology system that we've identified is made up of a combination of infrared and radio frequency, radio frequency ID uh, data capture information. We have to start off with a person tag. This is uh, another term for a membership card. The membership card will have a uh, will have a, the person, the member's photograph on it, and uh, probably a barcode. But it's also going to be an infrared tag. And as an infrared tag, just like your television remote, when it's squeezed, it will send a message to the car tag. So the passenger getting into the car squeezes his member car membership card, and that tells the car tag that the member has gotten into the car, and it tells the the car tag the identity of the member. The 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 car the car, having filled up with people, will drive out past a trigger. As it drives out past that trigger, which is also infrared, the car tag will be activated and by, it will be activated by the trigger and will send a message to the reader. And the reader will uh, receive a message that tells the reader who is in the car, who are the passengers and the driver who are in this car that is departing. The reader then will send that information to the computer system. The computer system will do two things. One is immediately it will display um, a display for the uh, for the par participants to see on a screen, which will say who the, which car it is, which driver, who the passengers are, and what the route is that they're traveling. And the computer system will also take that same information and make adjustments to those personal accounts in Hover that I mentioned a few moments ago, the financial account and the ride credit account. The membership card, which is a bit large and clunky because it is a prototype version. The final version of this will be much smaller, it'll be thin, it'll be like a, more like a membership card than like a little box. But once you see the features of this card, it's a um, it's an infrared card, as I mentioned before. It has a switch on the back, and that, that little switch there, when you squeeze it, when you make contact with it, it causes this to beacon, to send out a message. I'll just squeeze it from the back, and you see the little red light goes on. Now, what that does is that is sending a message to the, to the tag in the car, um, and it's telling the tag in the car, this is who I am, in this case, uh, an H. Clark. Here we have a, a um, car tag. Now, obviously, the proportions are a little bit uh, uh, off here. When we have this in full, uh, full operation, the car will be much larger than the tag. However, in this case, the tag is a radio frequency and infrared tag. Now, I'll just activate that membership uh, member card again, and you'll see that when I squeeze it, the radio, the, and then it beacons, and it sends a message out, a radio message to the reader. This is what the reader looks like at the moment, just a white box and screen, and the, sh and the computer is showing that the yellow car um, car. So if we just activate this now, we can see that when we squeeze that, the light goes on and the light goes on in the car, and what's happened on the computer is now that that H. Clark has shown up as a, a passenger car, which we can similarly activate. And we'll just get lined up so you can see the different lights going on on the computer. It has these other person tags and activate them for the red car. Then we put that person in. That was a W. Peters, and this one has been programmed for an A. King. We'll just squeeze the A. King one. Take a message there. And now if we activate that we have a W. Peters and an A. King in that car. In addition to tracking participation through the Hover Ride Credit system, the technology that we've developed has some potentials for other purposes. Um, in particular, as an integrated ticketing system to enable members of the Hover system to ride in other parts of the transit system. Um, the car tag, sorry, the 
uh, a car tag installed um, in an entrance foyer of a, uh, a transit station could um, allow a turnstile to be opened on, uh, on signaling from uh, a person tag, from a membership card. Additional functionality in, um, in the car tags could enable time of day or point-to-point -point system travel time monitoring. In other words, uh, assist with, um, with reporting how long it takes to get from A to B at different times of the day. And uh, the system could also be used to monitor use of dedicated carpool parking at employment and also at transit locations. And so if, uh, if you're providing carpool parking, this may be a way of, of monitoring its usage. And finally, tracking the use of HOV lanes, enabling recording of um, or, or tracking of how many people are in the vehicles that are using HOV lanes, how much are they being used um, for various uh, purposes. So each of these is a potential additional use of this hover technology.